This is the waterproof mas mask. <laughs> Let me try that again. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today is one of those videos that we like love to hate to film. And those are <laughs> those videos are disappointing products. I've kind of acc accrued some disappointing products that I over the past few months that I kind of want to talk about. Some are very new. Some are. Um, I've been around for a while and some are very expensive and some are very affordable, but it doesn't matter if the product is disappointing. It doesn't matter if you spend $4 on it or if you spend $50 on it, it's still your money and it's worth a quality product. So yeah, if you want to see what just is not working out for me, then stick around. So the first product I want to talk about, I don't even have anymore. I've passed it on to my sister to see if it works for her. And it is the Benefit Hello Flawless Liquid Foundation. I've heard so many people say amazing things about that foundation. I was in the shade I'm So Pure and I got this on a recommendation from um, an employee at Ulta and she was so sweet and she this was like her foundation that she just swore by. Um, but it just did not work out for me. For a $40 foundation, like it would just break down so fast on me. I felt like it oxidized really bad. Um, it was just a very unflattering foundation and when I say it broke down on me it's not even places like here and here it's like it broke down around the perimeter of my face so it looked like I had a mask on it was just very odd I don't know if it's just because I have dry skin and it just didn't like jive but definitely a pass for me and if you have more mature drier skin I might forego that one for something a little bit more moisturizing because that just was not cute on me the next product I want to talk about is also from that same Ulta trip and it was also a recommendation by this, this uh, employee and that is the Laura Geller Double Take Baked Versatile Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade Fair. This is a beautiful, like the texture of this foundation is so soft, so luxurious. It's a very nice full coverage foundation. But again, it just was so cakey on me, like immediately cakey. Um, I don't know what I can do to make this work. Let me know, because I'm. it's like I almost don't want to give up on this product because it's so, like, just on paper, it's so good and it feels so nice and luxurious. And I love Laura Geller. Um, so I don't know. I might keep this around and try it a little bit more, but this, I would put it on and it's like it immediately just exacerbated my pores, my fine lines. It made me look cakey. It made me look like super, super over the top, just made up. And it was just not a flattering look for me. So this is definitely a bummer as well because this was also like a $40 powder foundation. So I'm gonna keep this around and see if I can find a way to make it work. If you guys have this product and really love it, let me know. Um, again, it could just be my dry skin and I'm gonna keep it around for a little bit longer, but if it doesn't work, I'm gonna pass it on because this is so disappointing. This is like my cry for help. So please, if you use this foundation, let me know, give me some tips down below. There are a lot of foundations in this video, guys. The next one I want to talk about is this one, and this is a drugstore foundation. This is the Nuance by Selma Hayek Liquid Flawless Finish Liquid Foundation with Skin Adapting Technology. Now, this foundation is, it is in the shade Light Cool. I love the packaging. The price on this is really good. It's about $14. I've had this for a while. And what I find about this foundation, um, is that I love it. Again, I love it in theory. I love the packaging. I love the color match. I love the coverage, but this foundation will not set down. It is, it doesn't even matter if I set it with a powder. The tackiness of the actual foundation just seeps through. And as I wear this throughout the day, I feel like my face is sticky, which again is so disappointing because it's such a, 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 beautiful coverage. It looks nice. It looks natural, but it just doesn't set down. I don't know if I have to set this. Maybe I should, maybe I should set this with this and just be like super coverage because when I use just any kind of normal powder that I would use with a foundation, the Nearly Naked from Revlon, the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I just cannot make this the tackiness go away, which for me, for somebody with really dry skin is very surprising because you would think my my skin would just soak up all that moisture, but there's something about this foundation where when I put it on, it sits on my skin and it's not that it doesn't look good, it's just that it just doesn't, I guess, soak up into my skin and so it's just still that tackiness throughout the day and it really bugs me, which is really a bummer because it's, other than that, it's a great foundation. 
All right, guys, I've got one more foundation and then we're moving on, I promise. Um, so the next foundation I want to talk about was actually sent to me um, via Influencer. So this was PR. This is the Hourglass um, Seamless Vanish uh, seamless vanish finish foundation. I think that's what it's called. I'll, I'll put it down below. Um, and everybody is raving about this foundation and I really don't know why this foundation, when you put it on, it is, again, I will say this, you put it on and it blends out beautiful. It's super natural coverage, but super full coverage at the same time. It reminds me very much of my NARS all day luminous wear foundation. But the problem with this foundation is that it's a like $54 foundation that I don't get more than an hour's wear out of before it starts breaking down. And I thought that maybe it was because it is formulated to work with the Hourglass Veil Primer, but I don't know. I feel like a foundation should be able to perform decently, especially at this price point with any primer or with, you know, with some primers and not just one specific primer. And I have got the Veil Primer and I've tried it with that and it still just doesn't, it doesn't wear well. It gets really, if, and if you have dry skin, if you have any kind of dry spots, it's gonna grab onto those dry spots. Again, it's gonna break down right around my T-zone. And again, I have dry skin, so I don't know why I'm not getting a, a longer wear time out of it. Like usually with the foundation, I can wear it for, you know, a decent amount of time just because my, my face doesn't eat makeup like people with, you know, normal to oily to combination skin will. My, my skin is very dry. So again, just a really big disappointment and I hear everybody raving about this foundation, but I don't get the hype. And on top of that, you get like hardly any product. I mean, it's just, you're going to go through it so fast. It's so creamy and emollient, but you're getting like half the product that you would in a Makeup Forever um, HD foundation stick. And it's, it's just as expensive, if not more so. And I just, I don't really understand the hype of this product. Yes, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful packaging. Again, it goes on flawlessly but the wear time just absolutely stinks out of it. I will use this every now and then if I'm wanting to take um, like an Instagram photo, but that's about all it's good for. So, so if you have a dry skin like I do, I don't know, maybe there's something with the dryness in my skin where it just doesn't blend in and kind of melt into my skin, if you know what I mean. So if you have dry skin like I do, I would definitely stay away from this, but let me know what your thoughts are down below because I know there's some people out here that have this because people have been raving about this foundation, but it just does not work for me. All right, let's move from super high-end to super affordable. And this I received in my Perfusion Beauty Insider box um, a couple months ago. This is the Perfusion Absolute Conceal Palette. I believe this is $4.99. I do not like this guys I just I wanted to like this so bad because you guys know I love perfusion I love the packaging I like the colors that are in here and I love the price point but it is just so waxy it's if I'm gonna have a cream concealer I want it to be creamy and blendable and emollient and these are just so waxy um, that they kind of just sit on top of your skin and then when you blend them out they kind of just blend away into nothing like it really doesn't have any kind of coverage to it I mean it just kind of blends out to nothing so the coverage is terrible on these and because they're so waxy I feel like they just stick to your skin instead of melting into it and blending into it so they're gonna enhance any fine lines any wrinkles any anything that you don't want to you know see the light of day they're just going to enhance it so this was a really disappointing product for me which stinks because it's really affordable but there you go the next product i have is also from perfusion and this was in my first um products i regret video it was a, a different type of uh, mascara but th so this is the pro by perfusion waterproof mascara in blackest black and the first one that i got was only a dollar i think this one was around three i really like the packaging on it it's really sleek it's really nice um, but where my issue with that, that mascara I reviewed in the last video is that it was a very dry formula. You put it on your lashes and like immediately you've got black flakes everywhere. So the formula was just really super dry and flaky. This one is just too wet. I'm like Goldilocks. I know it's too wet. It's too dry. I can't help it. I've got opinions. Um, but this one is just too, too is too wet of a formula and I usually don't mind that but I think with the wet formula and the combination of the brush 
being just that big brush it's got it's just going to clump my lashes and it just immediately transfers to my lids and underneath my eyes so this was a big fail for me i've got so many inexpensive mascaras that i absolutely love that do not do that so boo the next product i actually got is a sample when i got the lorac mega pro 2 and this is the lorac front of the line pro um eyeliner black eye pencil is what it's called and i really like it it's got a nice black color it's creamy it it is a retractable pencil which is nice because you're not going to lose any product by sharpening it however this stuff is does not wear well at all i put it in my waterline or underneath my lash line to smoke it out and it just looks like i have slept in my makeup because it transfers everywhere i kept trying to use this product and i kept like my makeup kept looking like really really grungy and dirty which is not a look i go for intentionally a whole lot and i realized that the common denominator was this pencil so that's really kind of disappointing because it is a nice emollient black eyeliner pencil but it just doesn't wear well, well at all. It's gonna go everywhere but your waterline. All right, guys, we're gonna finish this off with a couple of palettes, and I found these at Walmart. Um, these are the Trend Smoky Eye and Trend Nude Eye palettes. These are 488. They come in boxes like this, and this is what the palettes look like. And I saw these at Walmart for 488, and I thought, oh, well, that's really a cool little idea. Like, I like the little tins so that's the nude one and that's the smoky one so they're really nice tins so i was like oh well these look really really promising and then i read the back of the box and they're made by mark wins my cat is literally knocking everything off my desk just to be a dick um but they're made by mark wins which is the company it's the parent company for wet n wild and it's the same company that made all of those that's making like the gotham girls beauty books and you know the the bigger um disney beauty books that have come out in walgreens which i tend to really like these are awful all right so you open the palette up and you get 12 shades and two little like flimsy applicators which you know i just generally toss those anyway and you don't get a mirror but that doesn't bother me because it was only four dollars again i think the tins are really nice um nice but the product in here is absolutely awful i mean the the shimmer shades i don't know if you can see kind of around the border like this one right here how it looks like it's a really pretty black and purple shimmery shade but once you get that overspray off of it it is just a gross like dingy brown color like that's that's not that's not even close and they do have oversprays in those books that i talked about but generally the shades underneath are at least pretty these are just dingy and dirty and gross and the mattes in here um get immediate hard pan whether you use a finger or a brush it's immediate hard pan to the point where i can't pick up any product at all with these like i have to really dig to get any product at all they're patch they're patchy they're powdery they're chalky these are just not good again you've got some really pretty colors in here that are gorgeous but you've got like hard pan on the mattes and that crazy overspray on the shimmers and this black is so chunky and terrible i just i was like no i was like i have bought so many inexpensive palettes from this brand that are so much better these are terrible and i know these kind of you know, you'll see these in Walmart and be like, oh, that would be cute stocking stuff or do save, save the money, say, save the $10 that you're going to spend on these. Go buy one of these perfusion eye cases from Walgreens that are 10 bucks, $2. I mean, it's so much better than these. Like these, I'm not even going to pass on to anybody. I'm just going to trash them because they're so bad. And actually what I think I'm going to do is just try and depot the eyeshadows and keep the tins because the tins are so cute and use them to like travel with brushes and eyeliners and that kind of thing so if you see these in walmart just beware because they terrible all right everybody so those are just the recent products that have been regrets or disappointments for me everything like i said from super inexpensive to almost luxury um but it really doesn't matter because that's your hard-earned money and it should be good quality if somebody's going to put something out they should take pride in it and not just throw crap out but you know that's just not the way it works. But let me know um, your thoughts if you have any of these products, if they work for you, if they're terrible, if you're kind of like, Meh. and um, especially on the Vanish Foundation and the Laura Geller Baked Foundation, I would love to hear it if you have any tricks or suggestions on how to make those work, because if I could, I would love to. You guys know I 
feel like I should be able to make any product work. So if I've come to the point where I can't make it work, that's really saying something um, in my mind. So, but guys, thank you so much for hanging out and talking about makeup with me. As always, you guys are amazing. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.